Hey guys, it's this little clock here today, and so this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Justin Justice, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his new conjuring event, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Justin is going to be an attacker, and his traits are tough, torture immunity, which is a really good one, blind immunity, which is really bad, and then AOE light weakness is actually really good with his moves, and then area sunburn is pretty decent as well. So yeah, he's got pretty good traits, honestly. His rank 1 is probably his best but rank 4 is pretty great as well and then his virtues are true vision and pierce true vision is not too great but pierce is amazing pierce will make him very very powerful and then his relics are sword and armor which are both really good and then if we go on down to his pros and cons he has a strong trait busted virtues and move pool easy awakening condition light weakness helps him counter his own element spammable 80 damage move is strong extra turn and aoe move shield removal before damage and great relic so yeah all of those pros are kind of amazing they're all really really good and then his cons are easily denied by everything except for total blind and not many monsters use total blind and then extra turns are anticipation bay which honestly isn't a big deal and only torture is sunburn which is kind of annoying but you don't really need any more tortures to be honest since he will be doing a lot of damage and just killing the monsters rather than using tortures to whittle them down now let's go on down to his moveset so he has two movesets here he has an unranked one and a ranked one so his unranked one does aoe of 45 light damage and sunburn and then he has a 25 light damage with self damage boost and an extra turn which is pretty great especially for his virtues if you didn't know he has to apply a damage boost in order to awaken to get his virtues so that will definitely help and then he also has a 70 light damage light weakness and then he has a self double damage extra turn which is really good that will help with his virtues as well or you can pick a damage boost with double damage which honestly might be the better play or you could use that and the double damage extra turn move but then you won't have many attacking moves to use and you will of course need attacking moves after you get that virtue unlocked to get the pierce so that you can do even more damage so yeah maybe just go with the self double damage extra turn but yeah that moveset is very very good that is just a really good move set. you can do a lot of damage and the damage boost can help him do even more damage and then if you can get him ranked up you can get the aoe 55 special damage the 80 special damage the self triple damage and evasion which is an amazing move Move. and then an aoe shield removal with 45 light damage sunburn and light weakness so for this move set you will need another monster to do the damage boost in order to awaken him because you do not have nearly enough damage boost moves in order to be able to awaken him because i think you need to apply damage boost like five times in order to get these virtues unlocked so you'll probably just want to have another damage boost monster to apply those damage boosts in order to go ahead and awaken them. Because you are going to want to use that pierce, it is very, very good. But yeah, he has some amazing moves. Both of these movesets are really, really good, no matter what one you use. You could even mix and match them if you only get them ranked up a little bit and not totally to max. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You could always use this AoE 55 special instead of the AoE 45 light damage. That would make him really good as well. But then again, if you get that light weakness, the light one might be better because it might be able to do more damage than 55, even though it does have a lower cooldown, which might be nice. But yeah, just mess around with them, switch around with them. They are all really good. He's just a really great ancestor. So yeah, go and get Justin Justice. He is pretty great. Don't spend too much money trying to get him, but maybe a little because he is really, really good. And yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say about Justin Justice. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him and if you guys are going to get him. And I see you in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.